Hello. In this video, we are going to be calculating the ideal location for one facility to minimize the average distance traveled uh, either to take things to customers or for customers to travel to the facility. We have in this example five locations. We have X and Y coordinates for each point and then the amount of demand um, associated with that point. Um, the process is really pretty simple. Take the X coordinate times the demand. The X coordinate times the demand, add those all up and divide by the sum of the demands. And that gives you the X coordinate for our answer. To get the Y coordinate of our answer, take the Y coordinate of each location times the demand, multiply, add them up, divide by the same thing, the sum of the demands. So it's really pretty straightforward. So uh, let's jump in. So on my calculation towards the getting the X value, like I said, take the X coordinate times the demand. So 10 times 80, that obviously gives us 800. 20 times 10 obviously gives us 200. Adding them all up, we get a total of 6,450. Now let's do the same thing to get our Y coordinate calculation going. So again, in this case, we take the Y coordinate, five times that same 80. In this case, we get 400. 45 times 10 gives us 450. Right, we've got, we've done the multiplying, we've done the summing. Now we're gonna take 6450 and 3150 and divide them by the sum of the demands. So we have 100, 80, 90, 200, we have 210 is our total demand, right? Beautiful. Okay, so to get our X coordinate, we take 6450, divide that by 210, and we get 30.7. Same thing for a Y coordinate, we take 3150, divide by 210, and we get 15.0. So our ideal X coordinate is 30.7, which is gonna be here, and our Y coordinate is 15, which is here, and so we get a point which is right there. Um, if you had just taken the average value of the X's and the Y's, the average value of the X is 25 and the average value of the y is 29 so we'd be at 25 29 we would have been way up there and that's not right do not just take the averages of those no bad bad analyst don't do it that way so to summarize we've got an x and a y location for everything we've got a demand for each location take the x coordinate times the demand add those up Y coordinate times the demand, add those up. Take those totals, divide by the total amount of demand. That gives you the X coordinate, and that gives you the Y coordinate, and that's where we should put our facility to minimize the average travel distance to satisfy our customers. I hope this has been helpful.